The fifth process of the deliver service and support domain is called, Manage Security Services. The identifier of the process is DSS-5. The process ensures that information is protected to the level of security risk acceptable to the organization. Information security roles should be established, and security monitoring should be performed. The purpose of this process is to minimize the impact of information security vulnerabilities and incidents. The process supports the achievement of three IT-related goals. The first goal is to ensure the IT compliance with laws and regulations. Its achievement is measured by the cost of IT non-compliance, and by the number of IT non-compliance issues causing public embarrassment. The second goal is to manage the IT-related business risks, and its achievement is measured by the percent of critical business processes covered in risk assessments, and by the frequency of update of the risk profile. The third goal is to ensure the security of information and applications. Its achievement is measured by the number of security incidents causing financial loss, and by the frequency of security assessments. The process has five process goals, and the first goal is to ensure that network security meets business needs, and its achievement is measured by the number of firewall breaches. The second goal is to ensure the security of information processed by endpoint devices, and its achievement is measured by the number of incidents involving endpoint devices. The third goal is to ensure that users are uniquely identified and have been granted the appropriate access. Its achievement is measured by the number of accounts versus the number of authorized users. The fourth goal is to ensure that physical controls are in place, and its achievement is measured by the number of physical security-related incidents. The fifth goal is to ensure that electronic information is properly secured, and its achievement is measured by the number of incidents related to unauthorized access. The process has seven practices, and the first practice is to protect against malware. The entities responsible for this practice include, the head of human resources, the head of IT development, and the information security manager. The entity that is held accountable is the chief information security officer. The practice receives no inputs, but generates two outputs which are, the malicious software prevention policy to be used by the AP01 process, and the evaluations of potential threats to be used by the AP012 process. The activities involved in this practice include, communicating malicious software awareness and enforcing prevention procedures. Malware protection tools should be installed and activated on all endpoints and systems, and should be kept updated. The protection software should be centrally managed and distributed. Information on new threats should be regularly reviewed and evaluated. Incoming traffic should be filtered, such as email and web filtering, to protect users against malicious files or phishing attempts. Periodic trainings should be conducted, to educate users on how to protect the systems that they are allowed to access.